welcome everybody. If we get off stand. <coughs> Pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> I'd like to thank everyone in attendance. Uh, excuse my voice, I'm kind of losing it. And uh, we'll start off with uh, item num number one. And first of all, I'd like to speak about the tax hearing. Well, one of the first things I'd like to do is reiterate uh, what I started with the last meeting. Um, we realize that this is not a pleasant job for you. Uh, it's not a pleasant job for your superintendent. It's difficult on the community. Um, so I say that with uh, knowing that this burden has been placed upon us by our legislators. Uh, so it is our responsibility uh, to deal with this. But I, I do want to share with you uh, a little bit of information. <coughs> The amount of uh, tax burden that's been placed upon uh, local districts. A document could be on my desk right now in my office. But it has increased dramatically since 2008 to 2014. And I'll get those numbers for you, but it went from something uh, in the neighborhood of 39% uh, is what um, uh, districts were paying in 2008 to 45 percent in 2014 so the state's uh, 54 percent is what they're now uh, uh, paying in 19 and in 2008 they were paying 61 percent so you can see that it's a top down and it continues to shift to the local school district so we're in a difficult position not something that we're happy to be in but it is a job we have to do and uh, we realize that there's some um, difference of opinion uh, with not only uh, folks in our community but also a few folks on our board and that's understandable and and it's uh, part of what we do and we make decisions and uh, sometimes they're difficult decisions and when we get done we'll we'll support whatever the decision is that's been made so I remind you first of all that this is a preliminary tax rate that we set on August the 2nd tomorrow uh, at the regular scheduled meeting at noon uh, you will make the final decision so with that being said, let me just uh, take a quick look at um, what we're looking at. We're looking at a 4% increase of revenue over the prior year's revenue. In 2015, we had real and tangible uh, uh, property that was taxed at a rate of 78.7. In 2016, real and tangible property, uh, as of today, the preliminary rate would be 80.4. Both of those include an exoneration. Remind you what an exoneration is. It's an opportunity for a school district to recoup funds that uh, uh, were perhaps lost due to a person with a disability or a person who's over 62 years of age who files with the uh, uh, Homestead Act that can actually have their property assessment reduced. So this gives us an opportunity. Last year it was 0.2, this year it's 0.5. So that's how we get our 80.4 that we're considering right now. <clears throat> In 2015-16, we generated $8,487,931 of tax revenue. This year we're looking at, if we take the 4% increase of revenue, which will be an increase of $383,821. $383,821. That's a 1.7% increase. Uh, over last year that equates to $17 per $100,000 of assessed property total uh, motor vehicle the tax rate is 53.1 that remains the same as it has for many previous years which is set by the state so this is uh, uh, the preliminary tax information reminding you again you'll make that final decision tomorrow what you want to do with this um, with that, I have, I have presented the basics here. So if it's the pleasure of the chairman, I would like to recommend that if there are any public comments, uh, 
if there's not any further discussion among the board, and, and then if, it, if it's your pleasure, then we take uh, any public comments at this time. Mr. Arthur, what is the expected windfall, the difference in dollar value? Did you say that? Yes, it's 383,000. Is that on here? 821. Uh, no, you'd have to actually do some math okay, probably. Well, what is the number again? Uh, 383,821. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> That's the increase of revenue. Now, when you do the math of last year's compensating rate, you run into exonerations. Be sure you back out the exoneration 0.2 last year, 0.5 this year to get your 4%. Right. And you're saying that ends up being a 1.7 actual tax increase? Right, right, yeah. 1.7, which puts $17 per 100,000. Any comments or questions from the board members? <clears throat> At this time, if there's anyone in the audience that would like to speak regarding this, I don't see any newcomers. <clears throat> well, we have no one that wants to speak, so in that case, I'd Mr. like to go. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, what we do when we set taxes, it's not a fun thing to do, but it's, but it's the reason that we are elected is to do what is right for our students in this school system. In service to our community, which is rich in history and diverse in scope, the Barstown City Schools offer our students the opportunity for lifelong learning through a meaningful and challenging teaching environment. Our mission is to help our students realize their dreams for rewarding and productive life by promoting the continuing pursuit of knowledge the development of critical thinking skills, and the nurturing of values, all of which are essential to the success as citizens in a global village of the 21st century. This is what, we do, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We can't do it if we don't provide the best facilities, the best teachers, the best staff, and the best curriculum. And having the funds to do it is very essential. And that's part of our job is to provide these for all the students from preschool K to 12. And that is the reason that we're here is to provide this and it takes money to do it. So, thank yes, you. Sir. Very well, sir. Thank you. Anyone else have any comments? All right, well, at this time, I'd like to seek a motion for adjournment. So move. May I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Those We are adjourned. I'll make sure. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs>